In the name of Allah the Most Beneficent the Merciful. Welcome viewers. You are going to know that how to install a gauge in water tank. First of all, I am using rubber ring. Usually used to hang the ceiling fan. Scissor. Plier. Straw. Chopstick. Silicon glue. Use of straw will give smooth rotation to the rubber ring. Cut the straw in three pieces. Out of the cut pieces, one has to pass through the rubber ring. While the other two will give a suitable height to pulley from the base of the tank. Cut these two pieces a little bit longer than the needed height. As we would have to cut them a little bit more, which would decrease the length. Insertion of chopstick into the straw is to increase the strength. The pieces of chopsticks which would be inserted into these straw pieces should be shorter than the length of straw pieces so that we can cut the straw openings. Try to make the joints as much stronger as you can, as the pulley may have to face frictional forces. Take a plastic plate. Cut the openings of the straw pieces. It would increase the contact area between the pulley and the plastic plate. Flip them over. Now, join the pulley with the plastic plate. This is how to make a pulley. We have to make at least three pulleys. Here, the pulleys are identical. So, the construction of only one of them is shown here. Pour some glue on the back side of the plastic plate. As the cord has to come out of the tank, it needs a small opening in the lid of the tank. Place the first pulley near to this opening in the bottom of the tank. Place the second pulley a little bit away from the first. And the third pulley has to be placed on the outer edge of the tank. Remember, all the three pulleys must be aligned. Take a plastic ball and tie it with a non-flexible cord. Pass the cord under the second, and then first pulley, and then above the third pulley. Tie a suitable weight with the free end of the cord. Let the tank to fill with water, mark the initial position of the weight, and after its filling, mark the final position. We have completed the mechanism, now we'll make it efficient and presentable. Note the difference between both of the marks. Make two strips, having length, a little bit more than the length measured. These strips will make a path for weight to move through. I'm using documentation file to make these strips. Taking the remaining transparent part of the file, make another strip having greater width. This strip should also have the same length as the other strips have. Paste the two strips made earlier on it. It should be done in such a manner that, the weight can move frictionlessly within the path made by these strips. Now, to scale, take two strips of paper or cloth. Divide the total length, noted earlier, in as much points as much you want to get a precise reading. Here one of the strip is scaled in percentage, while the other is scaled in liters for volume. Write the volume of the tank corresponding to the percentage written. Paste these strips to finalize the meter. Now, we are left with a pointer. I'm making this pointer with the metal strip taken from the file, as it's very easy to bend and deform it. A suitable weight is required to hang in order to pull the cord downwards. Join the pointer with the weight. To make the pointer beautiful, I'm pasting the flag of my beloved country. Hang the pointer and make it sure that the pointer is moving through the passage freely. This is how to install a very precise, mechanical, self-operating water tank gauge. Do it yourself and don't forget to give your precious feedback. Thanks a lot.